Hello everybody, this is Potter Brown here. Welcome to another blind reaction to Ruby, Volume 3, Episode 10, Battle for Beacon. Okay, so been looking forward to this one uh, for about two weeks now. Um, you know, could have watched it last week and everything, but uh, yeah, my self-imposed waiting one week type thing now until it's officially posted on YouTube. That's unfortunately just how I'm going to have to be doing it, but... You know, when it la but yeah, they left out one hell of a cliffhanger, so, and then they had a World of Remnant, which was a really good story too, but, <clears throat> anyway, so really looking forward to this episode, it is really starting to pick up, uh, not, th not that the season was bad at all, but, yeah, the season has been fantastic so far, but this episode, yeah, I'm hoping for a lot here, so, Let's just get it started and see what the good people at Rooster Teeth have in store for us. And start the video in three, two, one, go. Oh, and as always, skip past the song. Well, shit's falling apart quick. Got Zwei with you, huh? No, she isn't. Yang, I'm sure she's fine. She's our leader. She can take care of herself. She's a little distressed at the moment, right. though. This can't be happening. Penny. I'm heading to the docks near the courtyard. The white banger releasing Grim into the school. Yeah. The white thing is here. Oh, Yang can handle that. And she's got Zwei with her, so it's all good. Blake, what are we going to do? You fight. That's what you do. We're going to the docks, and we're doing our job. Why, why do you even have to think about it? Warning. Why well, just, you know, failed. get right into it. Yeah. Something's got to snap her out of this. Looks like it's lining up. Here, please snap out of it. Oh, did it just crush the rest of Penny? See what you can do now. Is that a bunch of weapons being called? <laughs> well, that's one way to take it down. Oh, it looks like Team Coffee's in it too. Well, shit. Getting fucking chills on that one. That's a shame.
fantastic. Ruby, I... I am so sorry. Me too. But it wasn't your fault. She's right. Whoever was on the microphone, they're the ones that did this. And we have to make sure they don't take anyone else. Well said, John. Now that's a group you don't want to fuck with. Oh, it's like Griffins? That's new. Griffins. Anybody got a plan of yeah, attack? exactly. Son. Not even a different type of name. <laughs> Have to show off. Yeah, she needs her weapon. Fucking kill it. Would be best for you to leave. But we can have this day will surely go down in Remnant's history. I'd prefer it if my students could live to tell about it. Let's go! Really? <laughs> you know, I, I know that's your hobby, but come on. Time and place. One final match, Marty. Place your bets. <laughs> Oh, come on, what are they gonna do? Yeah, they're awful calm. That's a hell of a fucked up thing to do. Let's see what this guy can do now. Nice gun. <laughs> it's always good to see what the experience can do. Yeah. <laughs> Didn't even break a sweat. What's going on? Grim are crawling all over the city. The White Fangs invaded Beacon, and to make matters worse, some vagabond has seized one of my ships. Until we regain command, the skies are out of our control. <sighs> Way to censor yourself. Going to take it back. What should we do? You have two choices. Defend your kingdom and your school, or save yourselves. No one will fault you if you leave. Let's move out. They may, f you know, be hard on themselves if they don't go, though. ship to beacon yeah as if there was any choice hmm, let's see what does this button do oh fun how about this one This one 
This one's gonna be fun. Okay. That's a hell of an access point. Ah, shit. Saw that one coming. They're turning them on them. What? Well, that's what you get. He's all right. Ruby, what are you doing? Helping him, huh? Interesting. God damn, Ruby, you got some freaking balls. And now she's pissed off, too, so. Definitely don't want to deal with an angry Ruby. Yeah, those uh, robots aren't much use against. Uh, you know, even semi-trained huntresses are hunters. sad. It's horrendous. Focus on the Adlesian Knights. Oh, I'm getting all of it. Good. Continue the broadcast until the end. And do not miss what happens next. So what are you going to do? No. Oh, is it the, uh, what the fuck are they? The elephant things? even worse. And it's dropping Grim bombs.
Alright, how the fuck are you gonna take that thing down? Pin wants something. He's got some type of plan. A grim dragon. Jesus. Got the wolves. The wolves. You know, General Ironwood's got some nice guns, though. I got it. Or one gun. It's a nice one, though. Alright, so. That was Ruby episode number 10 from volume 3. Uh, Battle for Beacon. And. Fuck. Everything is going to shit, and then this thing shows up, and... I don't even know what they're going to be doing now. I don't, I don't know how they're going to get through this one. Uh, I know that Ozpin apparently has something brewing, but... Um, I don't know if it has something to do with, uh, with Pyrrha, and... Autumn. And he seemed to be waiting there for her, so. But yeah, all, the, all those new types of Grims got the Griffins, those were a pretty cool design. Let's just, uh, let me just talk about that for a bit. Uh, got Griffins, that was a pretty cool design. Um, got these different types of wolves, and apparently, like, but then that dragon just shows up, and. Holy crap, it was like it was moving underground, it was shaking, it was shaking the kingdom. Uh, yeah, that, that one's going to be a tough one. And I thought those elephant ones, uh, I can't remember their name, but what the hell do they call them? If you let me know in the, in, in the comments below what they call those elephant ones. Um, a giant, some, I don't know. The Grim Dragon, though. I can't even imagine how old and powerful that thing must be. Uh, so, yeah. What a fucking episode. <laughs> Unfortunately, um, though, for Penny, it's not looking good. Uh, that Nevermore scene, it looked like it flattened her completely. Who knows? I mean, she was robotic, but... She did have a human aura to her, so and I'm, not, not, I'm not sure how it's going to work out for her. I, I unfortunately don't think it will. Um, yeah. So, I want to thank you all for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed that, and I'm just going to end this one here. Until next time, take care. Bye.